we can find the solution of certain types of differential equations analytically. In this video, we'll encounter the first two types and we'll also learn how we can find a solution. First case, if dy dx equals f of x, that means that the right hand side only depends on x and does not depend explicitly on y. So how can we find a solution in that case? Well, in that case we can integrate the left hand side with respect to x and we can integrate the right hand side with respect to x. Well, how does that work? Well, if you first on the left hand side differentiate y with respect to x and then integrate, well, those operations cancel each other out and we obtain y of x. And this works because in the right hand side we have only x's, so on the right hand side we have to integrate f of x with respect to x. So let's see an explicit example. For example, if we have divided x equals x squared plus 3, how do we solve this differential equation? Integrate both sides with respect to x. On the left hand side, we differentiate y and then we integrate, so we get y of x. And on the right hand side, we have to integrate x squared plus 3 with respect to x. If possible, the entire derivative equals one third x cubed plus 3x plus an integration constant. So there we are. So can we always do that? Well, let's take a look at the second case. If dy dx equals g of y, so now the right hand side only depends on y. What would happen if we try to do the same trick? So we integrate with respect to x on the left hand side, there we are happy because that would yield the y of x. And on the right hand side we also try to integrate with respect to x. But that doesn't work because on the right hand side we have a g of y and this y depends on x, but we do not know yet how. So we cannot integrate the right hand side. So if we have a second case, we have to do something else. So what can we do? Well, we can divide by g of y and then we get 1 over g of y, dy equals 1 times dx. Okay, here we have only y's on the left hand side and only x's on the right hand side. We can put an additional integral sign here. And what does it say then? Well, integrate g of y, 1 over g of y, with respect to y on the left hand side. Well, that's possible. And integrate 1 with respect to x on the right hand side. And we can also try to do that. So, how does that work in an explicit example? If you have, for example, divided x equals y squared, so the right hand side only depends on y, we divide by y squared. Then we get a 1 over y squared dy and we multiply by dx equals 1 times dx. Then we put an integral sign on the left hand side and on the right hand side. So we get the integral y to the, y to the power of minus 2 dy equals integral 1 dx. And then we can integrate left and right on the because on the left hand side we integrate y to the power of minus 2 with respect to y, which yields the y to the power of minus 1 is an additional minus sign. And on the right hand side we integrate the function 1 with respect to x. That's also possible. It yields an x plus c. So now we have minus 1 over y equals x plus c. And we can solve for y. y equals minus 1 over x plus c. So now we know how to solve two types of differential equations. First case, dy dx equals f of x. Right hand side only depends on x. Or, second case, divide the x equals g of y if the right hand side only depends on y.